Y'all, I'm out here at the garden this evening. Um, today we had the highest temp so far this year. It was 97, and it was so hot. Um, it's still 90 degrees right now, and it's 8 o'clock. Um, so, tonight I came back out. Chris was out here during the day. He had training with some veterans and their, do their service dogs and had service dog training with our service dogs um so i'm out here tonight uh he told me he, he was able to get some of the bugs off midday when he took a break uh i've got some japanese beetle traps coming and i'm excited to get those put up but i mainly wanted to come out here to see what kind of damage the heat may have caused if any I'm already seeing some yellowing really bad on some of my beans. I have blood meal on the way. God, I'm always like scared to death. I mean, it could be turtles. I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know what kind of eggs it is. Anyway, so I came out here this evening to uh, pick pests and uh, just check on check on the status of everything after we had this this heat. And determine if I'm going to need to come out early in the morning to do some more, um, goodness, look how fast that grew, to do some more watering. That grew so fast. Y'all remember what that looked like last night? It was not that big. Anyway, so let's get in the garden, y'all. Let's see what's going on. I'm seeing some yellowing on our corn. Um, I just need to make sure that it's getting plenty of water. We got, like I said, we got some randy roosters over there. They are just a little bit too much. You need to calm down, sir. But we've got these tassels. Um, and that's exciting. I see new tassels today, uh, this evening, that weren't there this morning. So that's also cool. Looks like something was over there digging multiple things. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Looks like something ran through here. And back there too, look. Anyway, so, um, oh, also I wanted to let y'all know I planted some, um, sunflowers right here too. So those will come up and be real pretty right here with the corn. I believe those are skyscraper sunflowers, so... Anyway, I, I probably do need to get this corn watered in the morning for sure because it's looking a little weathered. Now, before I start checking for bean, uh, the beans for Japanese beetles, look at how beautiful these gourd blossoms are. A little, little guy right there. So beautiful. Oh, I have a, some little watermelons. We got to get in there and check those out. But one of the things I'm going to do this evening, too, is I'm going to check all the backside of my um, leaves in this bed in particular and eliminate any... Um... Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Y'all can't be growing over there to the beans. Okay. Y'all got to stay. Y'all got to stay. You were not like this this morning. What happened? What happened here? Which way are you going? Oh, this is the this is the pumpkin vine from all the way on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna start weaving him back toward himself. Let's see how I can get you back over this way. Don't want to break you. Let's just keep you that way for right now. Anyway, um, did y'all see this little pumpkin down here? Look at that. Little pumpkin. And I see watermelon. Let me see if I can find a spot to step in the bed. And step in the middle here. Look at this little guy. Don't know how I'm gonna help support this guy when he starts uh, getting big because that's a Georgia rattlesnake. Watermelon. Yeah, this melon bed definitely needs to be watered in the morning, too. So, I know that I need to just wake up early and get out here 
and um, get some watering done. I do not want to get any squash bugs. I've only found the one and then the two sets of eggs. Check on my other melon. Where's it? Where's that big one at? Or the biggest one that I had. Oh, I don't even know. Whoops. I'm not quite sure why that golden midget watermelon leaves are so golden. I mean, are they supposed to be that color? There's the little watermelon. Little, little guy. Ooh, his stripes are getting even more prominent. Um, anyway, so far I've not seen any beetles. Let's keep on cruising though. Okay, so my beans are still doing great here on this side. They're okay over here. I did pick those this morning. I shared that in my video already. I'm not really seeing a whole lot that has me worried right now as far as pests and heat damage. These are kind of turning at the bottom too. Tomatoes over there on that San Marzano. Look at this guy. I don't know what to do with these crazy uh, tomatillo. Yeah, something, something funky is going on with my um, cucumbers. I might get in here in the morning. Look at this guy. Should have picked them. Weird. bring my snips back here with me there in the front. I might have to go get them. There we go. I got it. A weird dude. He may not be edible now, but we'll see. Got some fruit set coming out on these uh, sunrise sauce tomato plants. Let's check these little cucumelons. Look how cute. Oh, can't see it. There it is. So cute. Um, still a lot. This, this you're seeing back here is dust from the tractor. Um, looks like he's almost ready for us to start, uh, oh wow, that was not like that this morning. Y'all see it? We looked down there this morning, it was not like that. Um, looks like Chris is almost ready for us to get started on um, building the first bed. We're gonna get that first bed built simultaneously while putting the high tunnel together this weekend. Like we are saying, our oldest child's birthday is um, Sunday, so we're not really gonna work Sunday, but we might come out here if our son feels like it, if that's what he wants to do for his birthday. I'm not really seeing much that I need to worry about right now. I do need to trim up this basil. Um, heat was kind to us today. I mean, everything looks tired. <laughs> it all looks it all looks tired and dry and heated and all that good stuff. But um, we've got some new blossoms that came out here. But for the most part, everything's looking looking really nice. So since it doesn't look like I've got a lot of work to do on the um, pest side of things, then um, it may have been too hot for them to come out. It's still hot now, so again, it may be. Why is it steaming? I thought I fixed that. 
I'm gonna have to. Oh, I didn't get my, that's why, because I didn't get my hammer out. And I may have to re-weave that one to make it where it's pulling from this side. Because this part is really heavy with these cherry tomatoes. Looks like the other beehive. I was just leaning back to check on it since I heard that bee. Looks like they're still doing okay over there. Need to check my tomato leaves uh, stems and make sure there's not... Um, Anything I need to remove. Let's check on our potatoes here. Just glancing everything looks fine. Well, I'm pretty pleased so far. Oh, what was that? Something big just jumped. Since I saw that snake out at the house the other day, I've been a little bit on edge. What in the heck? Cucumber beetles, Ugh, two of them. I haven't seen them mating before. There's some more mating right here, look. Is it like time for that? What are y'all doing? Y'all getting squished, sorry. Starting to get some beans up above. What do I see poking out right there? Mm-hmm. I just squished some uh, larva, some eggs here, but then I found this. What in the hell is this? I have a narwhal or a freaking unicorn in my garden. Okay, so my Google lens said that it was a unicorn caterpillar moth. I don't know what that means, but I think I should just kill it, whatever it is, because I've never seen it before. I don't know, like, what, it's not coming off. I don't know what the heck this is. What is that? I'm trying to look at it. I don't know. It's gone now. Search continues for eggs. Well, that didn't take long. I found them. And then there's some babies that have already hatched. Look at them. Oh, I gotta get them now. They are all over this. Look at that. See them? Ugh. So apparently when I was checking the other day, I missed this whole little section. Look at here. Look at that. They gotta die now. So I was able to kill some of the larvae. A couple of them ran down in the plant. I don't know that there's anything I can do other than squishing them. Um, I'm currently doing on these other leaves. So what I did, because, um, because squash grows on a vine, you could just flip your, your squash over. I'm just... I mean, if I damage the leaf, I damage the leaf. It's better than damaging the whole crop. So, I mean, I'm trying to be careful, but it's just really hard. Um, and I'll just probably remove the stem in the morning, but I'm definitely going to do some research tonight to see um, if there's anything. Ow, I forgot the squash stems are kind of prickly. Don't have my gloves on on this hand. Just wear this on my left hand so I can squish bugs um yeah that's concerning I just eliminated a whole bunch of bugs and this is where I saw that adult the other day and I thought it was a stink bug but I just didn't pay close enough attention when I grabbed it up and squished it and that's my fault for that because then I could have known to search harder. It's starting to get too dark for me to look. I, while I'm here in the evening, I might as well check for hornworms with my black light. So I might do that before I sign off tonight. Not seeing any on these. Ugh, makes me so mad. But because your squash grows on a, a vine, you can just kind of pick it up like this and it'll flip the leaves and you can just kind of 
look that way. It's a little harder when they get bigger. Now I'm worried about that other bed. I gotta make sure I didn't have any crawling on me before I go check the other bed. But, um, now maybe I'm lucky and it's just isolated to this one section of the garden. Another reason why you need to be cautious when doing pruning and that sort of thing, you just never know. I didn't want to flip this this one over because uh, it's got some fruit on it and I didn't want them to come off there. Yeah, I don't see any on that plant. Let me go check that that one real fast, that bed over there real fast and make sure I don't have any of the eggs on my hand or anything like that. Frustrating. A couple of the bugs got away from me. Oh, I missed that one. How did I miss that one? I'm just going to do a quick glance tonight since it's already getting dark. Ooh, look. That one just came up today because I didn't see him there the other day. I mean, I'm going to have to really get in here and look. I might enlist Bobo and get him to come and help me. Um... I do not have enough squash yet for them things to start attacking my plants. If it was later in the season, I'd just be like, oh, it's later in the season. <laughs> that is something that, and, and that is something that happens, you know, it's kind of inevitable. I will not grow the squash in this space or wherever I have an infestation, I will not grow it in the same space. I am gonna put a little bit of squash in the high tunnel so, um, see, so yeah, I checked most of these this morning. I didn't see anything. Man, that was, I need to do some research on the squash bug and see if I can come up with some creative ways to prevent this next year. Anyway, I wonder if it's dark enough for me to search for those hornworms. Let me go get my black light. So, I think I might need to wait just a little longer. I don't know if I want to stay much longer tonight. We might stay out late tomorrow night so we can shoot fireworks for the 4th of July. And maybe I'll get the kids to take care of them. Um, looking for them. We've got two black lights, but they left one of them on in the back of the car. So, i got to get new batteries for them. But anyway... Um, I'll be back in the morning to do some watering and, um, we'll be, um, looking for squash bug, the larvae and the, uh, the eggs and the whole shebang. And I'll be checking all of this in here again, too. That's really upsetting. I don't want to know what did this. I might have to look at my security cam. We have a camera over there. I wonder if one of the dogs got in here. I'll ask Chris when I get home. Anyway, solar lights are starting to light up. So I'm going to head to the house before it gets too dark out here. It is still so hot. Um, but thank y'all for joining me this evening and, um, y'all have a wonderful weekend. I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.